However, I am Benjamin Baker, also known as EG the Muslim, playing for Team Evil Geniuses. And this is Pro Tips and Tricks brought to you by Beyond Gaming. This game is a Terran versus Terran, which all goes about what you can get about a little bit of information that you receive and how to play it. And I think that's really important and how you read certain things. Um, if I see a certain unit count, for example, of a certain unit, let's say I'm playing against a Protoss and I see six sentries early on in the game, I can deduce from that that he wants a lot of energy for some point later on in the game, be it a six gate attack with an expo first, uh, which would be really, really good with 200 energy on each sentry. And I can also deduce that he's not going for anything like a Dark Templar build, or if he is, it's going to be extremely late. So now I can get turrets up later. I also know which tech path that he's probably going to go down. Uh, probably not going to be a Colossus, since that's very gas intensive too. So looking at certain things and certain unit types, or even buildings, you can deduce a lot. And this game's a lot more simple than that, but I'll uh, talk you through it and lead you how my uh, mind was going as it went on. So we'll go straight into the game. So here I am, the Red Terror, in the bottom right of Taldarim. This is IS Panther, who haven't really played against him that much, I don't think, or at all. And the uh, game starts out pretty nicely, says he's a big fan, which is also always nice to hear. So production-wise, I am actually ahead on the production, so my SV was a lot faster. Didn't know that at the time, but that's pretty cool. That's a little, uh, little cool thing to have on my belt. So I go for a little wall in here. As I have been doing pretty much every game I've showed you, I like to give away as little information as possible. I like to pretend, or not even pretend now, I have a lot of strategies I can do. I can play pretty much any style. This guy probably knows that, given that he is a fan. He, he's seen my stream most likely, and he knows I can throw out any style I'd like. So, this game. I actually decide to go for a pretty late gas or no gas at all. I do block this off, so there's no SV that can get to me. And... Yeah, by the looks of it, I don't... Oh, I go a very late gas. So, got my barracks up. Going to be getting an orbital very soon. I do have an SCV over by his wall. And I do start killing this SCV. And I do notice that I can actually get through here, so I can scout exactly what he's doing. Something I'd like to point out here. This is not how you wall off on this map. This is not how you wall off at all. If you want to wall off, you have to have your two depots together, pretty much. So, on this position... Two depots and a barracks, that's really, really important. Over here, if I can see it correctly, you want your two depots on top and your barracks roughly here. So I'm gonna go th through every position for you guys. Here, two depots here and your barracks here. Eventually, this will all become very, very simple and it'll become like, okay, this is how I wall off here. In this position, you want your two depots here and your barracks here, not like this. I got into this, I saw exactly what he's doing. This is a late gas like mine. So I know that he's going for a very similar build to me, and thus I can play off it. So here we are, I'm just scouting around. I shouldn't have been able to see his base as well as I did, but I did, and now I know that he has gone for this late gas. I'm not in any kind of pressure, and I do start putting up my command center, which he did scout. He also scouts I've got a reactor, which is totally fine. He didn't scout anything more. Like, he didn't scout that I had another geyser. He didn't scout that I had a factory. He can probably deduce that I don't have a factory or anything, but. Either way, so I throw down two extra barracks. I know that he's probably going for a similar build that I've gone for, given that he is a big fan, and I saw his gas being late like mine, etc., etc. So everything's going pretty, pretty fine. At this point, just producing SCVs like a madman. SCV count-wise, we both lost an SCV. I'm still ahead on SCVs, even if it's only miniature. So, both playing very, very similar, except he's gone for factory, I've gone for triple barracks. Very, very, very cool. Most triple barracks play goes for one tech lab and two reactors. I've been a bit crazy. I went for a reactor opening. I want to kind of throw him off a little bit. <coughs> At this point, okay, another thing I want to point out. If you initially do wall off here, like I walled off here, most of your buildings tend to be around this area. So for him, I'm assuming that most of his buildings are around this area. And the reason being, you have a tech, or you will make an add-on to this initial building. Like, it's always gonna happen. And if you're switching buildings, you wanna switch them as short a distance as possible. So let's say that he had like five buildings here. I was probably predicting to see like a barracks, a few barracks actually with reactors on and stuff, because uh, I thought he was going for a similar build to me. But either way, 
So he could scan here and see exactly what I'm doing also. So that's a good tip for this map. Wherever your initial building is on this map, you have a lot of space around it. So scans in that position are always, always, always very, very likely. So take that into account. So both saturated pretty well. It's actually overtaken me on the SCV count by a small margin. That was a bit of a slip up by me. Anyway, he is going for a cloak banshee, which I don't know yet. And he is going for React Aliens. And oh, look, look, this is the money scan I was talking about. So I am, I've scanned this, I've seen this. So let's put this in slower speed. I see it's not producing on here. I see this moving, so I know he's getting cloak. Everything's very, very cool. So this is what I want to talk to you about. I know, given that information, that he's going to be way behind on his Marine count than I am. And Marines in this game are so freaking good. So immediately, I've seen the reactor on here too. So I know that he's going to be going for reactor Hellions. I know this isn't producing a dropship anytime soon, given that it's getting cloak, and that would be silly. So I'm defend the front with bunkers and Marines in. I'm going to defend the back. Oh, and I'm also, with that scan, I got the engineering bay down, given that I know he's getting cloak. And that's the best way to deal with it, rather than scans. Much more money efficient. So. Everything that I saw with that scan, I'm now preparing for. Bunks on the front for the reacted Hellions, engineering bay for the turrets, and just everything. You'll see even more change in my build very, very shortly. So everything's really, really, really good right now. These guys come. Don't really do much damage. I do get in the bunkers with a small portion of my army. I get a turret here, and I send this medevac around. I do set up these marines over here. I have the marines at the front in the bunkers. So I got this turret here to see him when he's cloaked. I am sending a drop to this base too. So this game indicated to me, so I'm going to pause it for now. He is trying to kill his tech lab. Army wise, I'm actually behind in supply. His army is ahead of mine. Given that he did go cloak banshee, that's a lot of resources in that cloak. I don't know what is going now. I've got way more marines than he'll have because I went for this kind of crazy three barracks reactor opening. But um, so I'm behind in supply, but I know exactly what he's doing. So I can completely put him on it. So here, I scan here. I kill that Banshee very, very comfortably. I'm in his base. This is where things get fun. So I have Stim now. I see that he's making factories. I run into his SCV line. Everything's really, really good right now. Killing as many SCVs as I possibly can. I've got combat shields too and stim. Supply-wise, I've really overtaken him now. I'm actually killing Hellions too. Hellions with Marines. I focus fire down the low health one, so... Yeah, so there. <laughs> Just gonna replay that a bit, because that was really cool. Okay, so ran into his base, killed everything here. And what I want to point out here is, Micro isn't just about positioning. So I'm positioning here, which is cool. I don't want to be in a line, but I start focusing down these Hellions one by one very shortly. Given that I've only got, so there we go. Focusing them down one by one, trying to kill as much as possible. I'm gonna lose this drop, but that did way enough damage, okay? So harvester wise, I should have been ahead in harvesters. And I have this drop too. So I knew that he's gonna have less units than me. So now I'm just piling on pressure. I'm producing more and more units, getting upgrades. Killing more and more SCVs. Everything's going really, really, really good right now. I start trying to focus down the SCVs one by one. And I start doing that very, very easily. So supply-wise now, now I am so far ahead. 20 supply ahead, 10 workers ahead minimum. He's cleared out these rocks. I'm going to start getting up my command center, getting more barracks down. My minerals spending is really, really good. So I've got no minerals to spend. I've got this big army now. So this is when I start pushing across the map. And I know he's got mech, given that I saw these factories producing over here, these two. So I know he's pretty immobile. So I can really put, take full advantage of that. I'm running one Marine up here. I know he's got at least two tanks up here, given that's how many shots it takes to one shot a Marine. And that's what happened. I sit over here. I do scan down here. I know what he's got. I run and I kill his orbital. That is huge. That is absolutely huge, okay? So now I'm like, okay, I'm gonna set, <laughs> okay, this is, this is me being a bit like, okay, I've won this game. 
OK, so I know I've just killed this third. And that's a bit, bit cheeky. Like that, you could say that's crazy me doing that. But this is just the fact that I know he's so immobile. I'm going to expand in crazy positions where I know he won't scout. Like in the game, let's look at it from his position. He sees absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. He has no idea where I'm going to attack him from. So let's build him two command centers in a panic. And he's like, oh, OK, this guy's all over me. So the fact that I could expand here, which he can just pressure me here and contain me for these tanks. But what I really want to do is expand like here, here, just really far points away from him. Tanks are really slow. I've got drop ships. I'm going to drop him absolutely everywhere. So I'm going to put this on like slower speed now, or faster even. So getting upgrades, getting my third base up here. So I'm getting fourth base up there. Everything's cool. I scan over here. I do see that the Viking that he does have is over there. So I'm immediately going to load up. So this is all about like information I'm getting. I'm getting so many more expos than him that I know I can afford to do this. Even if I lose all these units, it's going to be fine. I'm, getting, I'm producing eight Marines at a time. Everything is so cool. I, I'm going to get another drop ready over here. I take out his command center, his orbital command. And then he says, GG, he played so bad. And it's not that he played bad, I totally read him. <laughs> he was ahead on macro for a while, as we saw with his SUVs were ahead, his supply was ahead. So it's not that he played bad, it's just that this information I got from this, I totally read him, totally had his mark made for him. And he had no chance once this game really got rolling. So what I'd like to take from that is if you see little things, little things that you know how you play. I like to build all my buildings in a certain area. And it's for a simpler reason as that. I like to exchange my buildings for tech labs, reactors, whatever. I like to use the barracks to give or to make a reactor for a more important building like a factory so I can produce Hellions. Or I'd like to use the factory to make a reactor for the barracks. Depends what I'm making. But either way, it'll all be based around the same area just to make the switches that much more efficient. If it's not, that can main, mean the scan is like not as good, but it's not as efficient for the late game, so you could be behind anyway. Um, that game, I, saw, I scanned a lot. Um, I knew which tech path he was going. He's going for the factory point. If that game did go on for longer, I'd have had bases all around the map. I'd have gone for several hundred barracks dropping him from every angle possible, making it so he can't really leave his base. They'd have been on three base, drying up very fast, and I'd have been throwing armies at him. Even if it was an in inefficient trading, it'd have been good for me since I'd have had the whole map. So that game was all about what you see scanning at the right time. So I scanned, I saw exactly what he was doing, I pinned him on a certain strategy, and I knew exactly how to play with it. I knew that his army was going to be inefficient, his army was going to be out on the map, his Hellions going to be like at my front door, his Banshee was going to be at my back door or in my mineral line somewhere. Either way, I prepared for it with missile turrets, bunkers, and I had a drop in his base to saw everything that he was doing. So this was Pro Tips and Tricks brought to you by Beyond Gaming, and you should check them out at beyondgaming.com. And also, if you want to check out me more or my teammates more, go check us out on myeg.net. I play for Team Evil Geniuses. Thank you for watching.